In this movie, let's talk about the set status feature of Adobe Connect. So I'm in here as a host. I'm also in here at front on a different computer as a participant, but I want to show you how setting your status works. So if I'm teaching a class, I might ask someone, um, hang on just a second. I'm going to set my status on the other computer. So I'm, I just ask someone, you know, do they agree with a concept or disagree? Give me a green check mark if you agree. Give me a red X if you disagree. And their status shows up right here next to their name. So this is where you set your status. Uh, I have a lot more options up here than a participant or even a presenter would have. But everyone has access to this, uh, the set status. Most people like to use the green check and the red X. If you use the raise hand, it's going to give them the option to raise their hand, but then it also gives them a microphone. Let me demonstrate that in a second. So if I go over here and if I raise my hand as a participant, it says one person has raised their hand. When I click the check mark to agree, it automatically gives them a microphone, which is something I'm, I really don't like doing. So I'm just going to turn off the mic on the other computer and then I'm just going to remove this. So if I choose um, clear everyone's status, it wiped out the status, but notice they still have a microphone. So I want to go in here and disable their microphone. So I'm hovering over that name and disabling it. So I don't like to use the raised hand for that reason because it will give them microphone rights if you accept it. So instead, I like to use the green check mark and the red X. Another good one is the step away. If you're in a meeting and you need to step away to take a phone call or for whatever reason, you can choose step away and here it shows up next to your status. If you had a microphone on, it automatically mutes the microphone as well. So lots of different things that you can do with these statuses, but a, a really good thing is the ability to engage your audience. And two of the main ways that I like to engage people are by using the status, also using the chat, you can also use polls. You can create lots of polls. So under the pods poll, you can create polls that you can bring up or you can put them on a separate layout if you want to. Those are just some of the ways that you can engage people. But one of the easiest and most fun is to use the set status feature in Adobe Connect.